dying to see some science in action. We have four bottles here labeled as one, two, three and four. This here is yeast. Yeast is a single cell organism. I am putting a spoon of yeast in each. In the first bottle, I am pouring only water. In the second bottle, one spoon of sugar and water. In the third one, two spoons of sugar and water. And in the fourth one, three spoons of sugar and water. Note that I have poured equal amount of water inside all the bottles. Let's close all of these bottles with balloons. And now, we wait. You see, what happened here was nothing but respiration. The yeast we put inside the water is a unicellular or single-celled organism which can respire without oxygen. By a process known as anaerobic respiration, in the absence of oxygen, the yeast will partially break down the glucose in the sugar to alcohol and carbon dioxide. It is the carbon dioxide that has filled up the balloon. This particular anaerobic respiration has many practical uses. We use the yeast to produce wine, which is alcohol produced from grape juice. We use yeast for baking breads. See, this is even called the baker's yeast. Without yeast, the bread or cake won't rise and become soft and spongy. So next time you eat a bread or drink grape juice, think of yeast.